So I wanted to talk about my setup in my truck for online gaming. Like for people that play Call of Duty or Modern Modern Warfare, maybe you play um, Fortnite or maybe you're into um, Smite or just whatever kind of gaming you're into, whether it be PlayStation, Xbox, whatever. Is it possible to play your games while you're on the truck? And I'm going to go through and show you the setup that I use for to play my games. So if you're looking at coming out here to become a trucker, then definitely check out my videos. Use my driver code. It's in the subscription. It's in the description. It's C O X D J O. So it's in the description if you missed it. And definitely check out my setup for my video game. I'm going to go through and explain to you how I get the power, how I get internet, how it hooks up to the TV, what I use, what I like, what I don't like. So definitely stay tuned and check this video out. So this is my setup. I got the Vizio TV. I think it, I believe it's a 32 inch. And I like playing that Call of Duty. So, you know, this TV right here, this Vizio's, we got into a truck, I got into a truck wreck. The truck survived. I mean, the TV survived the wreck and everything. So, and, you know, I didn't mount it up anything special. It's ratchet strapped up. Like, you can see the ratchet straps holding it. So, it is ratchet strapped up. But the Vizio haven't let me down. So, it's a great TV to me. You know, it works great. The color's great. The sound is great. Like, I have no problems with it. It's been a great TV. But the Xbox... I have is down here so what I did is I just ratchet strapped it to my refrigerator see my refrigerator my Xbox is ratchet strapped to it so we got the Xbox ratchet strapped to it of course I got the matching white controller definitely have to have the matching white controller if you got the white Xbox and it's hooked up to the TV using HDMI and can I play online? Look at this. This is multiplayer online. You know, look, I got I got my friends online. It's all online. Now, the way that I have this is it's hooked up. My Xbox is hooked up to that power strip that fell down from behind my TV. It's usually tied up up there behind the TV, but it fell down. Haven't put it back. And it's HDMI to the TV. My, that power cord goes to this cord up here which goes around and across and down to my inverter you gotta have an inverter for your truck prime puts this inverter in here and it's powering my microwave my tv my refrigerator everything so that's how i get power to it is i use an extension cord to a surge protector and i have power now i got a hdmi cord going to the back of the tv also on the back of the xbox can't really see it but there is a there's a fire stick back there just take my word for it but i use fire stick on the xbox so you can go over here to your set to your um one guide and boom i got my fire stick on there So for some entertainment, like if I want to watch some TV or something, and it lost signal. I wonder why. I don't know. Maybe it came unconnected while the truck was driving around, but I got the Fire Stick. I got Netflix. Definitely got some games on there. So also, also what's connected to the back of the Xbox, before I forget, is I have an Ethernet cord down there that goes to my hotspot. Without a good hotspot, you're not going to have good internet. And it has an ethernet port on it that goes to the back of the Xbox. You have to have good Wi-Fi. You know, here's my Wi-Fi, my, my hotspot. And I like to keep it on the window because I feel like it gets better signal right there. It kind of just hangs from the curtain. But you have to have that in order to get good internet and good data so you don't have the lag in your bullets when you shoot your guns on call of duty 
they ain't missing people because you're having lag so you have to have a good plan that is through AT&T it's the Nighthawk I have videos on my channel about it and it hasn't failed me there I mean like every once in a while I'm sure in some bad area real bad areas it's cut out on me but for the most part it has not failed me so you know I, I really I really have to stress it that you have to have a good um, Wi-Fi you can run your phone's Wi-Fi trust me it's not gonna be the same as having that hotspot for some reason that hotspot is super charged to give me the best I guess bang for my buck but I got Fortnite and Smite on here that's two games I like to play also so we got the Fortnite and and I'm playing this stuff and I'm not getting lagged I'm I can use my mics I can use my like I'm not having any issues I'm not having lag I'm not getting mad because people are spawn killing me because I can't move because every time I spawn I just get shot because I got all that lag going but that's through AT&T Verizon has one it's called a jetpack and from what I understand it works as good as this one so look I even need an update see on a mobile hotspot I wouldn't be able to do this update it would take forever and it's still gonna take a while on this so you know it still takes a little while but it's a lot faster and I don't have to worry about my phone dying because it's plugged in yeah I have it straight plugged in hardwired in I don't use the battery that came with it because I don't want it to overheat or explode or anything due to the heat but in a semi truck this is this is how we do our gaming see this is um it's already downloading that update and I haven't updated Fortnite in a very long time and look at that bar it's already moving that's my hotspot doing it I'm not on any other connection besides my hotspot and look it says 37 minutes but I doubt it even takes 37 minutes that's a 4.2 gigabyte update and look at it it's flying look it's breezing through so definitely one of the main things you're gonna need is that hotspot or a hotspot like it you know of course you're gonna need your Xbox or your PlayStation guys y'all will have y'all's PlayStations and good TV good size TV like there's, there's some room in there if you wanted a bigger tv you could put a bigger tv in there and instead of ratchet strapping it they make a mount that goes to your window that you can mount it straight to the wall right there to me that's a good spot because i can lay in my bed down here lay in my bed i got a lot of pillows to prop me up more i can lay right there kick my feet up and just game so like detention pay shoot y'all want to threaten me with some detention pay walmart don't threaten me with a good time and not follow through you better keep me there six hours so i can play some more games like you got me messed up if you think i'm tripping about you giving me detention pay i'm getting paid while i play video games online with my friends look at that it's already at nine nine point six percent so you know i can download stuff i can stream youtube I can play another game I can watch Netflix while that's going on I mean like I have like a whole bunch of stuff I can do while all all off of that one router or hotspot so my phone's connected to it I stream YouTube sometimes I'll be watching a movie on Netflix or a TV show and I'll be playing video games at the same time on my cell phone off of the same hotspot I've had my phone where I had no signal on it and that hotspot came in and saved the day so I had something to do at a truck stop that was not that big. So definitely, definitely get you some enjoyment out here over the road. Get you something to have fun with, something to relieve the stress. If video games is your thing, do it. And for you guys that are gamers that are thinking about coming over the road truck driving and y'all are like, man, I don't want to give away my game, give up my gamings. I don't want to like not be able to play my games dude look at me I'm doing it here I'm showing you like I'm doing it I'm playing those games I'm playing that Xbox I'm having a good time I'm watching my shows I'm watching my Netflix I'm gonna have to get down there and fix my fire stick too because I watch a lot of stuff on my fire stick so I need to get back there and fix that before I go back over the road but your life's not over when you come truck driving if your life is video games and that's your passion you still got it right here 
right here inside your truck we are inside the truck like I'm inside the truck still inside the truck still playing my game still living life man those those lines on the screen looks like my TV is cracked but I was all like what the heck but yeah, you can still live your life to the fullest and have the most fun you can. If you enjoy video games, there you go. That is a true gaming setup for my Xbox. I've explained how it gets power. I've explained how I get my internet through the hotspot. I, I even explained how I get it from there to the TV is a HDMI cord. You do it, man. You live your dreams. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and keep watching my videos for the latest content I post. Like, comment, and subscribe. Ring the bell. Get my latest lives. Get my newest videos. Also, in the description, there's a link to fill out an application and get my recruiter. My recruiter's good. Don't forget to drop that referral code, COXDJO. Also, my phone number is... 417-894-8098. Drop me a call, text me something.